Hey guys, it's Leila Kalon and today I'll be doing the nuclei of the cranial nerves. So our mnemonic for today goes, only love offers the four aspects saving no hate. Okay, today I'm going to do uh, it a bit differently. First I'm going to divide the cranial nerves into three groups. So we're going to have sensory, which includes the sensory nuclei, we've got motor, and then we'll go for parasympathetic nuclei. Okay, now if you remember the last mnemonic, it was some say marry money, but my brother says big brains matter most. So accordingly, we'll put the cranial nerves. So some say marry money but my brother says big brains matter most right okay there we are and if you have watched my previous videos you'll by now you'll know the parasympathetic nerves and their nuclei and where they're situated but we'll go through it again so we'll go three seven nine and ten and also by now you should know what numbers uh, stand for which of the cranial nerves so you've got um yeah that's better so you've got uh olfactory um optic trigeminal facial vestibular cochlea glossopharyngeal vagus oculomotor trochlear trigeminal obtuseness facial glossopharyngeal vagus Accessory hypoglossal, oculomotor, facial, um, glossopharyngeal, and vagus. Okay, so we're not going to write the names. Now, let us start with the letters and then we'll move on to the names of the nuclei. So we've got O here, L here, um, the five would be. No, yes, then O here, number three, then T. Four stands for four nuclei, three sensory, one motor. Then aspects, saving, aspects would be, yes, yeah, saving here, then. Uh, I have not put anything for eight because the nuclei takes the name of the um, uh, cranial nerve itself and it would be, it's easy. So I've left that one out in the mnemonic. Then uh, here we've got, yeah, that's different. Then we've got no hate, which would be this. No. It'd be this, sorry, and this, and this, okay, and this one would be this, and this, okay, all right, so, um, one more thing, clue, uh, would be something to remember, would be that the motor nuclei take, usually take the names of the cranial nerves themselves. Okay, so let's start with motor just to make it easier. So three is oculomotor, so it would be the oculomotor nucleus. And would be nucleus. Four is trochlear, so it's the trochlear nucleus. They're all motor. Number five is the trigeminal nucleus. Let me just write it, trigeminal nucleus. Uh, trigeminal motor nucleus, sorry. Then you've got six is abducens, so abducens nucleus. 
Seven is facial, so facial motor nucleus. And 12 is hypoglossal, so hypoglossal nucleus. Now, if you remember from my previous videos, 9, 10, and 11 have share the same nuclei or nucleus, which is motor and is called the nucleus, that's or no, is the nucleus ambiguous. Nucleus ambiguous. Okay, that's our motor. Then we'll move on to parasympathetic because I mentioned them before. So three would be Edinger, Vestful. Seven would be superior. Nine would be inferior. And both of them are salivatory nucleus. Uh, 10 would be dorsal nucleus of the vagus. All right, now we move on to sensory. It's got different names. So the first one has not really got a nuclear, but it's got nuance, a mass in the olfactory bulb. Olfactory bulb. That's what you write. L would be, uh, the optic nerve also does not really have a nucleus, but it comes from the lateral geniculate nucleus, which comes from the superior polyculi, which is in the uh, midbrain. Then you've got number five, which, goes, which has got three sensory nuclei. You've got the principal sensory nucleus, you've got the spinal trigeminal nucleus, which is important, I'll tell you why, and then you've got the mesencephalic, mesencephalic nucleus. Now, uh, the mesencephalic nucleus is sensory, as you can see, but it is involved with reflex proprioception of the periodontium and of the muscles of mastication in the jaw. So it functions to prevent biting down hard enough to lose a tooth. So it's sensory, but it also does this. Then seven would be the solitary nucleus or nucleus of the solitary tract. And if you remember, the solitary tract is not only for seven, but also for nine and ten. So we've got solitary nucleus, solitary nucleus. That leaves us with number eight, which is vestibular cochlea. So we've got two nuclei, which is vestibular nucleus and cochlea nucleus. Okay. That is it about the cranial nerves, whether they're sensory, motor, parasympathetic, and their names of the nuclei and the number and the types. So uh, let's go over where they are situated. So the olfactory bulb, it's not in the brainstem. If you remember, I've told you that one and two are not in the brainstem. The lateral geniculate is in the thalamus, in the diencephalon. Um, Okay, we start from three. It's three and four, midbrain. Five, six, seven, eight, pons. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve in the medulla oblongata. Okay, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe for more videos. And see you later, guys.